March has a reputation. Welcome back to M Hood Fishing, everybody. Windy. Windy. That's its reputation, and it's living up to it today. Of course, by the title, you know it's going to be catfish today. It is not early, it's not late, it's 9.28 a.m. in the morning, and it's windy. And I will probably repeat that word many times. Windy, windy, very windy. And the more the morning ticks on, the more the day goes by, right? The windier it's going to get. 18, gusting over that is what I'm expecting to see but at the moment, it's only around 14. Of course, here on the ICW, you can add some mileage to that. Fairly chocolate milk looking water as well up here because yesterday was a major rainy day. Lots of it. I'm only going to give this two hours maximum because in about two hours i'm going to be seeing some hefty wind speeds out here and it's a chilly day cold front high is going to be in the 60s but tonight my low is going to be somewhere in the 40s and you know almost about the same for tomorrow so a couple of chilly days Come, come on, come on. Let me know you mean it. Let me know you mean it. Did not take long to get a bite here. Give it a few minutes. That fish isn't there. We'll see. And after a few minutes, if I don't see anything, I won't want to bring it up and make sure I still have bait. I already brought it up bait was still there it's back out I chose this spot because it's kind of out of the wind if I went to the river right now that would just be a more intense wind tunnel than this is but yeah I'm kind of out of the wind not not so much my rod but where I'm sitting in that this is all about my you know being comfortable because I don't really need to cast real far where I'm at to get into some fish so it's not that the wind's not an issue there it's just it's got a bite to it so to be able to sit down and watch a rod you need to be comfortable and be able to shoot a video you need to be out of the wind so here we are watching that wind is really playing havoc with my line I'm getting a bite right now one of the things I could do to decrease that play on the line from the wind to make it a little get you know a little better is drop my rod tip. But it's not that much of an issue right now. We can see the rod better. Oh, look at that! Look at the line go tight. getting a bite still because look can you see how much play the wind is putting on the line and then the line will go tight all of a sudden but the rod tips not moving that's the uh, twitch and whiskers tournament rod there if you're curious it's a one piece seven foot six rod you see that line look at it go tight I've already pulled it up, checked it, it was fine, still had it, so I had to bait this back out. Different place for the rod, a little closer to me, I don't have to climb to get it if I need to run real fast. I think this wind is just playing havoc, fast and loose with the line. 
Oh, we're getting a bite already. Yes. A nice shake shake on a rod, but not too serious yet. It is a five o octopus circle hook I'm using. And this is a, a, a pretty, uh, pretty typically small fish spot. I hate to say it, there's a lot of people that want to argue with me, but there's a lot of small fish in this canal. There's some big ones. Every time I hear someone say there are some big ones, the story is about them getting it on a jug and taking it home and butchering it. So that big one's not here anymore because you killed it. Anyway, mostly small ones come out of here. Occasionally a big one. I think this is a small one for sure messing with me, but I'm just going to let them have it. I don't really want to jump up and act like I'm fishing a Jayhawk because I'm not going to get a strike if I... I'm not going to get a hook up if I strike right now. I need him to show me what he is, you know, how serious he is. I don't know if you can hear over the wind but over my shoulder to my left you can hear a gas motor an engine pumping station is pumping right now yeah look at that you know what I'm gonna do because that that's getting uh, it just keeps going I'm gonna go ahead and slowly reel up some of this slack I'm going to adjust you guys a little bit. I don't feel him. Yep. Little guy, probably. We're going to go right back down where we were and sit back down. See? That's what I want to see. I know that that bait is still there. We don't have to bring it up and check it after that bite because he's still in the process of tearing it up. It won't probably, it might not be there much longer though. So, but we'll let it play itself out. Maybe we'll end up with a hookup. It's gotta be a little guy. Motor over there just simmering down. I've got this bait pretty much in this direction, almost about, not about as in front of the pumping station as it can be without getting into some uh, issues with structure that are, is out there. Those big bumper looking things. So we're out in front of one of those actually. We're still getting it. The wind is just gonna keep us with a slack line no matter what. I'm using a three ounce. Could improve matters by upping my lead. Here we go. I'm getting a bite right now, but the here we go is the barge that's going in front of me just now. This barge may very well be coming from the river because in the direction he's coming from, is the Algiers locks where this hits the river the ICW right so the river right now according to the gauge in Baton Rouge and the gauge on the Carnarvon outfall 57 degrees still a little chilly a little too chilly for cats to be doing their pre-spawn feed up but close needed to be in the mid 60s maybe might see some action in the low 60s we're not too far from that but a few degrees is a few degrees difference and it could be the, like night and day are we gonna get a 
fish on this barge going by because we're definitely getting a bite definitely getting a barge bite but the bite started before the barge ever got over the bait and it might just be more of the same little fish pestering the bait oh it might turn into something though it's still happening still getting it you know what I'm considering is dropping my hook size down even smaller and having a little fish day catching a release on little fish because I, I just wanted to see if we could get a big one because there are some big ones in here I've, I've caught caught them dang near 50 pounds in here I've heard stories that I don't believe people be like you know yeah I just uh, knocked a 90 pounder off the other day or like a few you know this guy told me that you know oh yeah yeah okay I did about an hour ago I caught a 90 pounder and I, I let it go and it was like wow did you get a photo no but it seems like if you caught a 90 pound blue cat you would have got a photo because I know I would have so yeah hey I'm not saying that there's no 90 pounders in here I'm just saying if you caught a 90 pound fish you wouldn't nonchalantly just like knock it off and let it go you'd take a photo right you'd be you'd be proud as hell about that you'd be boasting it all over the internet just about at my limit here with my patience I'm gonna try one more thing the pumping station is pumping right you can see it so I've been getting bites but more this way right I've dropped my hook size down and my bait size what we're gonna do for a bit is cast right out into this see if there's fish associating with this current feeding right in there there we go okay this worked I was in the middle of a battery swap over at the bike and the rod just went crazy well that's not too bad but it's not big Really fun fights on this little rod. Okay. An hour and a half. That's how long I've been here with the line wet, the bait out. An hour and a half to get this. Now, I was getting tons of bites. But uh, I think in the beginning, all those bites were from little fish and my bait and my hook was just too big. And they started pumping and I thought, let's try this. So there we go. There's the hook I dropped down to, I think it's a four. Not a big fish by far. Wow, it's a fish. Just go ahead and slip him right in. He'll get it. All right, I actually gave it the full two hours. It's actually just a little over that right now. Way too windy. We're gonna call it a one fish video. After all, water temps in the river are 57 degrees. Not quite there yet, but really close. So I don't expect it to get much better. It's just, I don't want to stay out in the wind. Yeah, you're right, but you got something done, and that's what counts. Thanks for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing, being a member of the channel, and I will see you next time.